Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to explain how I created this amazing chat application with language translator using Python. So before beginning, I just have one request that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest programming and tech related videos. So for this project, you need to create two files named as server and client so i'm going to explain one by one how this file actually works so let's begin with the server file first here i've imported the required libraries the first one is socket that we are going to use for establishing a connection between client and server and the next library is text blob that we are going to use to translate one language into another you can easily install both this library using pip command so here in server side we first have to create an object of socket to actually create our server and then we are getting the host name of your computer because to connect client to the server we are actually going to use the host name you can also use your IP address instead of host name so here I have just printed whatever the host name of the computer is and now you have to select a port and 8080 is the default port and now we have to bind the host and port together and then we are going to wait until a client send a connection request and here I have written h.listen1 it means that we are only going to accept only one request at a time and after receiving the connection request from the client we are just going to accept the request and then we'll begin the procedure of message exchange so here I have taken a string as an input for the message and then I have performed some encodings to secure the message and then we are going to send the message through the connection that we have just established so for that I am using connection.send and then we are going to print send message on server side so that we can know that message is successfully sent from our side and now comes the message receiving part of our project so every time we receive a message we first have to decode it using decode function and then we have to translate it into our desired language so in this case I've used English on server side and uh, on client side I've used Spanish so as you have seen in the beginning of this video that the client is sending the message in Spanish and server is actually receiving the message translated into English and same thing goes for server to client part so here in client side there is not much of a difference here also we are creating an object the main difference here is that instead of generating host name we are actually taking input for the host name and then we are passing the host name to the server side so that server side can verify the request and establish a secure connection and then here on client side you can clearly see that we always start by receiving the message the client can never send the first message always the server has to send a message to begin the conversation here we are doing same thing as server that we are decoding the input message translating it to the local language and then displaying it and after receiving the first message the client can reply to the server and the conversation can go on so i hope you guys have understood the coding part of this project now let's begin with the execution so for that i'm going to open the folder where i have created the files and here i'm going to open the command prompt and inside this first you have to run the server part so for that i'm saying python server.py and now as you can see that it has given the host name that we need to copy and now I'm going to open another command prompt and here I'm going to run the client part of the project and then I have to put this host name over here as an input and now you can see that we have successfully established a connection between client and server and now we can begin with our conversation so here from the server side we pass the first message as hello we have received hola instead of hello which is the translation of hello in Spanish and now if I say anything in Spanish I say como esta and if I send this message you can see that we have received as how is it going you can also create a GUI for the project and take the input for the language from the user to make this project more better and if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to like and share this video to your friends thank you